Hi, my name is Sophie Pywell and I'm a 21 year old artist based in Edinburgh, studying at the Edinburgh College of Art. So my art practice is mainly based within painting, but I also work in textile art, ceramics, and I've been exploring a lot of video work and poetry at the moment. Um, but it all kind of comes down to the same themes of feminism and reassessing and retelling sexist stories from our history. Um, a lot of paintings in our galleries are very sexist and famous paintings that we're told about in history classes are very sexist and I'm trying to kind of retell them with my own artistic voice. Um, I also paint a lot of female figures in my work but I try and do this in a very liberating way using colour and texture to liberate the female form rather than sexualizing it. So I find inspiration from a lot of different places, mainly from going to art galleries and looking at other artists' work, um, in particular going to very traditional galleries and kind of finding the things there that I don't like or I disagree with and thinking about how I would do things differently, how I would retell these paintings. Um, I also do a lot of reading and looking at art history and kind of just seeing how that can all influence my contemporary work. So because my studio is not based within my home, my typical work day would be to get up, have breakfast, have coffee at home and then head to the studio, work there, have lunch there and head home in the evening. However, at the moment I'm finding that inspiration has been hitting more outside of the typical work day and so my work day has become a bit later on and I tend to find the inspiration is hitting more at night so I'm kind of working through the night and kind of sleeping in a bit later during the day and just kind of every day it's more about seeing how the inspiration is going to hit. Um, it's not so much of like a strict structured routine and I think sometimes these really strict routines can just really restrict your inspiration um, and your practice. So for me it's kind of I try and stick to a routine but if that's not how it's working that day then that's fine. <laughs> So I think studying is not essential for an artist and I don't think going to an art school is something that's required of an artist in order to have a good level of skill um, and to develop their own style. I do think it has helped me to develop my style in terms of I've had to be practicing a lot and producing a lot of work. However, I think rather than the lessons and the lectures I get at art school, the thing that's most beneficial for me is being around lots of other working artists and meeting a lot of people, making a lot of connections, seeing how other people work and being in these shared spaces that we all work together in. Now this is one that I think artists hear a lot and the first answer that always comes to my mind is, well you didn't. Um, there's no use saying I could do it or I could have done that if you, you didn't do that. Um, but I also think that every piece of art is completely different and no two artists can make the exact same piece of work. Um, so even if you were to try and recreate something that someone else has done, there are different influences, different inspiration that each artist is using. So I don't think it's as simple as saying I could do that. It's not necessarily just the skill set that an artist has, but also the, the voice that an artist has and the different influences they've had throughout their life. So in February 2022, I co-curated and organised an exhibition here in Edinburgh to raise money for Edinburgh Women's Aid. Um, it had over 20 artists and we managed to raise over £1,000 for Edinburgh Women's Aid. It was my first exhibition that I had ever organised and definitely gave me the urge to organise more and go into that side of the art world a lot more. But it's one of my proudest achievements, seeing so many people working together. Um, we worked with other groups of people, charities, all of this to organise different events and honestly just being in the exhibition for a week was just the biggest achievement I've ever had. Thank you for listening to me. I can't thank the Florence Contemporary Gallery enough for this opportunity to be part of the group exhibition.